my heartfelt families and thank you for joining me for today's small group activity. My name is Miss Emily and I'm one of the toddler teachers here at Heartfelt Impressions. I work at our Clarkston location and I'm so excited that you decided to join me. So for today's small group, we're going to be making self-portraits. That means we're going to draw pictures of ourselves. So to make this a little more fun, you need a picture of yourself printed out. I recommend doing it in black and white. And if you don't have a picture of yourself, you can use an outline like I'm doing. You can have mom or dad trace you, make an outline, or you can print one out, or maybe even just drawing one yourself would work as well. So this activity is great because it's going to work on exploring the idea of ourselves and others and comparing those differences. It's also going to work on our fine motor skills as we're using crayons or markers. So you're going to need the picture of yourself or an outline, and you're going to need crayons or marker, markers or any other thing to color with. It's really your choice. Then we're going to start. So I'm going to think about the different parts of my body. Hmm. So I'm working on the knowledge of myself. So I'm going to start with my hair. My hair is blonde, which is kind of yellow. So I'm going to take my yellow crayon and I'm going to color. Now the hair's on my head, so I'm going to color my head and I'm going to color it partly yellow. Okay, so then we're going to move on. I'm wearing a shirt. I have a red shirt on. So I'm going to color my shirt where my shirt would be on here red. So I'm going to color over that and I'm going to color it red. I'm going to scribble all over it, color it red, work on our fine motor skills. Hmm, what other body parts do I have? Oh, I have eyes. What color are my eyes? They're kind of blue. So I'm going to take a blue crayon and I'm going to color eyes. Eyes are on my face and they're kind of like circles. So I'm going to draw two circles. And then I'm going to think about my pants. You can't see them, but I have black pants on. Hmm. I don't have a black crayon. So I'm going to use orange because I like the color orange. So I'm going to color orange. What other things could you add to your self-portrait? You could add a smile if you're happy. You could add a frowny face if you're sad. You could add a silly face if you're feeling silly. I'm happy, so I'm going to add a smile on mine. So you can color your portrait, color your hair, name the different body parts. You can point at your eyes and your nose and your ears smile, see what color clothes you're wearing. You can even color ones for other people in your house. You could color a picture of mom or dad or your brother or your sister, maybe even your dog. And this activity is so great because it's really going to work on our knowledge of self and others. It's also really going to work on our fine motor skills as we're holding the crayons or the markers. So I hope you guys enjoyed making yourself portraits. We would love to see them. Send us pictures of them. Thank you so much for joining me, and we hope to see you guys soon. Bye!